Yo, what is up, guys? It's been a fun three months since we've last done this, and we've gathered you all here today to ask you which chipmunk has depression. I mean, um, hi, welcome to another edition of the special edition of Gloves Off. Is it really special if we've done this like three times already? Yeah, it's, 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 times. it's still special, you know? I mean, you know, it's only once per season. Once That's every true. three months. It's, it's kind of special. It's, like the, it, it's a very special episode where uh, Hungry experiments with alcohol for the first time and Chris uh, tries to buy a bike from an old guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, hi guys. Welcome to the PR reveal stream. We're not going to keep you for long. We're just going to get to the introductions quickly. Uh, the entirety of the panel is not here tonight. James had personal issues to attend to, as did Biddy. So it is going to be just myself and Hungry representing the panel at large. Oh, and RJ's working on uh, collision stuff. I mean, he's working on stuff. So, you know. Uh, so yeah, so it's gonna be so it's gonna be me. I mean, he's working on a website, I mean, but you know, nothing crazy. But we, ah! yeah, but we, but we got we got all the goods. We got everything you guys want to yeah. know. Uh, we it's got... me and hungry. We know enough of the information to guide you this next hour or so. We do this, and Chris obviously behind the ones and twos doing everything else. Uh, is there any pre thoughts you want to give about the power rankings, hungry, before we get started here? Uh, there's one person. <laughs> wait, well, wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> one person. One person. Yes. This got weird. It's got very weird. Well, all right. You fast. know what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna write the ship here. I'm I'm ready to go. I'm not on all the right, panel, yes. but 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 yeah, I'll definitely present. I'll, so, I'll present this bitch. So yeah, so just, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna get started. Um, we're gonna be going one through fifteen like we did last time. We just got the image hot and fresh off the presses, so we will be showing that at the end as well. And keeping in in fresh the our, oven, you know? yeah, and also keeping with our non professionalism, uh, we've gone back <laughs> to a one of my favorite things where we use silly pictures of everybody for the slides. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Some of you have no pictures of you in existence on the internet. I have a hard time believing your people, but I digress. So uh, we are going to get started with what I believe was, you know, a, a bit of a tighter competition. Uh, this time, some spots were like really, really close. And I feel like we could have gone either way on a lot of things and things people wouldn't have really been upset about it. But, you know, we all came to agreements on this. So let's get started, Chris. Uh, do we just want to jump right in? We doing the usual counting from one to fifteen here? Yeah. Yes, we're doing uh, we're we're one to fifteen. 15. <laughs> All right. I hope you Please. guys. I hope you guys are ready for number one. No mistakes this time. Yeah. Oops. Maybe one, <laughs> one, yeah. one, one mistake this time, but it didn't spoil anything. Yeah. Uh, MK Leo, number one in New Jersey. Okay, so number one uh, for like the umpteenth time ever. NRG Esports Nairo. So for the first time, I'd say in a while, Nairo had some contention for the number one spot. And very it was close. Nice. It was very, very close between him and whoever number two is. And I'm sure if you've, if you've lived under a rock for the last few months, uh, you're about to have your, your world rock. But obviously, you know, Nairo, when you look at the data in front of you, it makes a lot of sense. Obviously, he has wins on the top four in front of him. Uh, he has multiple sets on uh samsora he has a set on mkaleo which in a feat of itself which is very very hard obviously a winning record on tweak and mars this season right now which is huge um and obviously he's like not pictured as a lot of the tri-state dominance nairo being the best at gatekeeping tri-state and getting into top eights uh you know doing it to jackal at glitch and to leon at shine so continuing that in-state dominance as well as the national dominance you know winning an s tier placing top four top five at the s tiers so it really the, the numbers really speak for themselves but it was very very closely contested between him and number two i wonder who that can be bum, ba, da, bum. all the number two because i'm a shit yeah. yeah number two in the beautiful state of new jersey going to gavin, gavin dempsey, dempsey. okay There's my so again. tweak Obviously, like because he's ranked higher on the PGR for last season, like people would just automatically assume that he was gonna be higher on this PR. But thankfully, like the PGR season actually lined up with when we started this season, so it was really easy to keep track of both their results. And while I would say that Tweak was more consistent overall in his uh, uh, season so far. Uh, he never reached the, quite the same heights that Nairo did. Uh, like his best is probably that second at Evo, 
right? Which is amazing. There's there's right. no disrespect there, right? But then it doesn't reach like Naro's main stage where he won an S tier and he beat Leo. And Leo, like, is obviously the best player in the world right now. Like, it's a clear like gap, not a huge gap, but just a gap of who the second best player in the world is right now. Mm-hmm. So Naro having a win like that and Tweak not having a win like that, like it, it kind of like gives him a little bit of an edge there. And then there's like the, the record. They only did play it once, but it is data, you know? So when, when they played, uh, uh, Naira ended up winning. And, and also, there wasn't Naira... really much of competition like outside of the one and two. Like, all right, one is going to be this one, two is going to be that one. Like, the three was like a little bit of a tier after that. So those were the, the two biggest like contenders for those spots. And it was very, very, very close. So I'm yeah. you might be surprised on that, but yeah, that's when, what we ended up going with. Yeah, we could have gone either way on this, like we said. Um, and also, Nairo has like a three and zero record on Samsora this season. Tweak doesn't, so that's there's also just like wins that Nairo has that Tweak doesn't. Uh, but like we said, we could have gone either way on this, and I think the people would have been fine with it. Uh, but it was very, very close, and uh, it's it's nice to see Tweak back, and you know, continuing to do really good things. And next season's gonna be even crazier. Obviously, we're getting near near the end of the year, and. Uh, there's still plenty of action to be had, uh, especially with a lot of stuff happening on the home front. But moving on to number three, yes. who could it be? It's Leon again. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> Leon uh, uh, maintaining his number three spot right now below Tweak and uh, and Nairo. And when you, you know, he kind of had a quieter uh, season than he did in the past. Uh, that's no fault to his own. Obviously, he missed out on things like Super Smash Con and Evo, um, you know, not due to forces of his own. But the tournaments that Leon did go to, he continued to do things that he did either win or plays very, very well. Um, and obviously, when you look at the wins right there, like he has three top 10 wins and he got them all at the same tournament, which is a, like outstanding. And obviously, continuing to place well, ninth place at Shine, uh, a big one, a little bit of a, a hiccup at Glitch, but still. You know, continuing to finish in the top 16, top 12, and the top eights of these massive tournaments. And I don't think anybody's super surprised to see Leon here. So, you know, it, it shows that he's indeed consistent as a meta. Could You know, might catch up to Bowser or might not, but I always expect Leon to be on the up and up. So good on him again for maintaining his uh, bronze medal. Yeah, man. Yeah, so this was, this was a nope change, right? He was, he was, was he through last time? Yeah. Yes, he was. If but I'm yeah, wrong, it's... at me. No, nah, I'm, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure you're right. Uh, Leon's like the classic success story. I, I think we talk about this every single time he's on the PR. But it, I just think back to the time in Smash Four when he just narrowly made 15, and it was controversial. But uh, yeah, here he is, number three this year, behind uh, some of the best in the industry. So I guess with that, we're ready for number four. Number four, which actually uh, may surprise some of you, or maybe not. But uh, in either case, bait. talk about your favorite player in the world, hungry. <laughs> uh, did we tra- did we slide into the tradition yet? Uh, number four is everybody's boy Jackal. So Jackal had an outstanding season with <laughs> one <laughs> glaring blunder. <laughs> I love you, Jude. I'm sorry. I had to I had to throw that in there. So ninth at an S tier, ninth at another A tier, and then over like this pretty. Saw it across the board of the locals. He very rarely got upset. Just uh, the, it, it, anytime you talk about Jude this season, it's going to come up. 513 on the yeah. <laughs> But everything else was so good. And all the wins were so good. It just it just ended up uh, overcoming everyone else's um, other results. So it, his peaks were just way too high. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Not listed here, but um, Jack also did be tweak. That just I forgot. Um, well, I don't know why it's not posted there, but we definitely yeah. it definitely was accounted for when we were doing the rankings. So uh, don't worry yeah, about that. We, we, just, we, we, like there was there was only so much room that I could go for. That was probably an oversight on my part. Uh, well, look, it's me. The, yeah, it is you. Are hungry? Yeah, but obviously, <laughs> like uh, Jackal making a a rise. Uh, you know, definitely a little bit disappointed in himself. I'm sure last season. I think he's never been lower. 
since we started like doing these, he hasn't been like lower than like that top four, top five range. Uh, but moving up two spots here, and obviously like kind of rounding back into form of what we all know he can be, which is a national threat and also like a force on the home front. Like you said, he very rarely got upset, and also has it went on tweak, like we said locally. But uh, you know, do not ignore that. All that stuff got accounted for. So good on Jackal for once again continuing his uh his dominance here on the you know on the New Jersey home front. And as we move on. To number five, Zan. Yes. <laughs> Close enough. Number we got we got wishes. Yeah. yeah, I got plenty of wishes, and I wish I wish uh, I was two fish. Anyway, so yeah, Justin continuing to you know maintain top five status. Uh, had a little bit of a a slower season. I'm sure he would have at least at the national side of things. On the local side, he continued to dominate, which is going to be a trend you're going to see for like the next few spots. Like relatively okay, like placings at like, you know, S tiers and A tier tournaments. Like obviously he got, uh, was it 33rd or 25th at, uh, at Glitch? I can't see. He got, he got 13th. Right 13th. No, uh, it was at Shine. Right? No, that's what I meant, Shine. Excuse oh, me. yeah, Shine. 25th. Yeah, so obviously he like continuing to place consistently at nationals, and obviously thirteenth at an A tier, you know, top twenty five, top thirty two, at another S tier, and again the local dominance also has a win on tweak this season. Uh, listen, I don't yeah, know why I didn't listen for kind of like the the running uh, trend. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the tiers you're gonna get. You're gonna get the the national players that you know we happen to house here, and then you're gonna get the other national players that beat the other national players. The it's the just... biggest deciding factor here was. Obviously, Justin's at the local level was extremely dominant. He only very, very lost to any of the local talent. Like he was pretty much positive on just about everyone in uh, um, who, he, who he faced in Tri-State. The only exceptions were like um, Tweak, where he, I think he was negative 1-2 or like 3-2, something like that. 3-1, I think. And then Jackal, which was 5-6 uh, in Jackal's... Uh, it was in Jackal's favor. He was positive by one. And then everyone else um, wishes was just uh, a positive on. So it, it was it came down to the peaks. And, and it ended up being Jude being a little higher than that. But it was a very, 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 very close race. It was back and forth. for That might have been the spot that we talked about for the longest time. Yeah, I agree. This was like another one that was like we're splitting it by hairs. Uh, yeah. We definitely spent like a good hour or so just talking about this. Uh, in general, but again, Justin continued to be top five, you know, continued and all th doing this while also like playing different characters. Like it, it speaks for how hard it is to be dominant and also like trying to wean yourself off of the other characters you played. And he did that masterfully. And I continue, you know, hopefully he does the same with ice climbers. And now going to uh, an old friend kind of took a bit of a hit this season, but it's okay. Moving on to one of my favorite players in the world. Crom. Rivers. Yeah, newly minted Rivers. And I hate having to use his, his government smash name. Um, but I'm a commentator, <laughs> so it's my job. Yeah, so James, taking a bit of a stumble uh, this season. I, he's been number two for like, the longest time. Um, but, you know, you know, real life catches up to you sometimes. And obviously, at the few things that James did go to, he did very, very well. And it was incredibly hard to ignore. Like, he continued... He, you know, Switch Fest being uh, kind of the highlight, did okay at Glitch. Uh, but locally, he continued to do very well, uh, getting first at a stacked Platinum Star that happened to house Tweak. Uh, he pretty much just runs the the Platinum Star weeklies, uh, which are very, very good, and getting fourth at one of the big Nash at the big monthlies uh, using Banjo, uh, mind you. Banjo. El Banjo. And obviously, you know, housing a, uh, a bunch of really good wins, uh, you know, outside of that, again, another case of just really good local dominance from James and a good splash of, uh, you know, of national showings. And obviously, you know, real life catches up to you sometimes. And, you know, hopefully, you know, James has even said himself he's going to find – he's going to do a lot more stuff this season. So there's definitely room for him to climb there. And also, uh, tr uh, Trend went on tweak this season. So yeah. that's, uh, that's that. hard to say. He did the, that the early on, The biggest thing too. was just um, his – Usually what carries James is like the big tournaments and this is like the one season where everyone like all the people that were above him just did better than him at the big stuff. At the locals, he was incredibly strong. All of the six players so far, well other than that who hasn't gone to the locals, but like they all just like dominated local locally. Like they just like won or got like top three every single time they went to something. So that I would just take the running trend for like those players for 
And it was just a very, very clear, like, all right, so you know who's going to be in this general, like, area of the list. And it just ended up being that, like, the peaks of certain players were better than others. So even though he's number six, he still did very well this season. And obviously winning defense battle for the East, you know, starting off this season where you beat literally every, almost everybody, you know, that's a good start for him this season. So obviously things are subject to change by the end of the year, but you know, James will settle down at six and I'm moving on to number seven. It's Biddy. Probably the first, I'd, 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 I'd say the first surprise we have so far. Yeah, he just barely made it last season, and I think this is probably the biggest climb for anyone this season, correct? Plus it eight is. spots. Biddy, yeah, but Biddy going from uh, 15th to 8th. Uh, definitely benefiting a lot from the, the locals counting more this season because having local wins on, like like we said, like uh, very rarely did players like uh, did Wishes and Jackal get upset, but when they did, you know, it, it definitely mattered. And, you know, Biddy netting a couple of wins there and continuing to do what Biddy does where he places very, very well uh, out of region. You know, he tends to get really good wins getting, you know, 65th at Evo is definitely nothing to scoff at. That's like three rounds of pools you got to go through and obviously continue to do really well, uh, you know, locally as well. Always getting top five, you know, top fours at, uh, you know, the spectrums or whatever else he decides to attend. Mm -hmm. Like the big thing here, obviously, is like Biddy's like, you know, getting really good play, being very consistent with his placing and also getting like the key wins when he needs them. Like, you know, Biddy, it's, 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 I feel like every time with Biddy, I'll always look at his sheets and I'm just like, oh yeah, he went to that. Oh, okay. He beat this guy. Like Biddy always has a couple of like nuggets of surprises where like, you know, he does very, very, uh, you know, he, he really polices the, the, the local scene very well. And he also, when he does travel out of region, you know, he plays the solidly. So like I said, another person who I expect to continue to rise or at least stay like consistent and yeah, good on him. Make, jumping eight spots is definitely uh, the biggest so far. Yeah, I think, right, I think between all the well. seasons. But uh, yeah, now, now we start yes. to get more into nitty gritty stuff because this is like the kind of range where you're just not entirely sure who did it, and you kind of start to see who uh, who's entering this season, who wasn't, all that kind of stuff. Um. So yeah, without you're further ado, number your eight. Boy this is your boy hungry. It's my boy Wraith. <laughs> uh, the the Wraith run run the Zonzas. <laughs> <laughs> the race runs out. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, so if you just look at his wins, you just be like, okay, yeah, I get it. Leon, Jackal, Juice, Ling Ling. He's got a win on um, Jewel as well, and other great players. When he went out to monthlies, he always performed well. He was one set away from making the final bracket of Super Smash Con. Every monthly he went to, he just performed above and beyond what he needed to do. And even the local stuff like Kingdom and DNA always placed in the top, top three or even top one. I think like Spectrum 99, he got like second. Or which like had like over 100 people or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's like not really a surprise when you look at his stuff that how, how high um, Wraith ended up being on this list. Yeah, it's another case of like his, you know, the attendance is a little bit smaller than other people but like because of how we weighed the tournaments you know when you show up to these big events they matter especially you know he did really well at whatever the he went to a couple of the super weeklies the ones that counted like slightly more so that obviously matters and when you look at the wins they kind of speak for themselves and everybody always kind of sleeps on wraith because he, he's he's kind of an enigma anywhere outside of like this area he just blew um, himself up. Thinking <laughs> yeah. with the, the the stream trend of showing people getting bodied <laughs> when we show their clips. I, well, that's, I, I'm, I wised up this time because I'm playing all the last games in these sets, which presumably if you sent me the set, they probably won. I mean, yeah, yeah he yeah. does win this, but it, it's just funny. He's, uh, he just happens to have blown himself up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is pretty funny. Yeah, but again, good on uh, Wraith. Uh, if it wasn't for Biddy doing so well this season, Wraith would have had the highest jump out of anybody with a plus uh, four uh, piece right there. So good on him. And as we move on to number nine. Yeah, seeing a lot of this in chat, I think a lot of people expect this to be number eight. But yeah, number nine, Christmas. Number nine? Number yeah, so this was, this was also another like tightly contested spot like between Wraith and, and Christmas. Uh but definitely, I think the peaks for Wraith, like we said, were just a little bit better. Like, the wins that Chris was able to collect 
also very good. This is another one that could have gone either way, but I think Wraith just had slightly better peaks. And Christmas continuing to say consistent, you know, top ten in, in a very, you know, largely populated state. Um, you know, he's so good, man. And I wish he had the opportunity to to travel a little bit more. Uh, because he's very, very good. The few things he does travel to, you know, he uh he performs well at. I think he got like he just barely missed like final bracket at Shine or something like that. And he always, you know, polices the locals very well, like we said, uh, you know, winning a couple of spectrums here and there and doing well with the the, the platinum stars whenever he goes. Yeah, he's definitely asserted and... himself in that position of like the you could almost assure if you run in the Christmas in bracket, like you you might have a bad time or your bracket might end. He's uh he's kinda has hit that echelon since last season, so that that's that's pretty good work. Yeah, very consistent player. N- never really falters out, maybe about one or two times, but like very, very consistent. Yeah, and like like you said, like that spot between him and, and Wraith was like a definitely a, a tight conversation to have, but yeah. like it, it, it's because, I mean, I will say that uh, rates peaks were higher than. Oh my god, he missed that. <laughs> uh, yeah, rates peaks were a lot higher than Christmas's, but Christmas had a really good um, set record against uh, Wraith. So it might be weird to see that Christmas is nine and, and um, Wraith is eight because of their record, but it, it, it came down to like peak stuff. So I feel yeah. like we kind of skipped a key component. I kind of wish you started with the data and rules because I feel like this is really well put together this time around where the, where the statistics really do speak for themselves. Uh, we'll still wait to like, get more into it later. But, yeah, this, this season, um, I mean, I wasn't involved in the calculating, but from what you guys have told me, probably the simplest it's been in terms of, like, well, the results very much speak for themselves. Yeah, we just, like, streamlined everything. And obviously, like, we – we raised the floor for everybody and then we rewarded the big tournaments that did well. So like if you happen to only go to like, you know, weeklies, you definitely have a, a just as good as a chance that anyone that like, doesn't do that. Like, does that make sense? Yes. yes. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> hungry, you're up number 10. Okay. I got this making his return. <laughs> oh my god, dude! That was the so, lowest Jack. Samurai Jack like song I've ever heard. Um, so if you look at his wins, it's just very obvious. He's got two wins on Rivers. He won a tournament over Jen, Venom, and I think another Canadian player. I forgot. Uh, it was smock. Uh, smock. Smock. Yes. Oh, Smock! Right. So it he he just that DNA was like a really really important tournament for him to win. And then he just had like little sprinkles of like really high octane like wins, so it it, it was a very like contentious like like spread of like doing really really good, and then sometimes like oh that's not so good, you know. So yeah. he might have been higher if it was like more of those high octane wins that he would usually get. So, but it's still a very respectable placing for him. Uh, I'm sure he would prefer to be a little higher than that, but. I just kind of how like the the balls roll sometimes. Yeah, how the turntables sometimes, obviously. Yeah, how the but... turntables. Yeah. Tape tables turn. <laughs> how the how the crumbles cookies? Yes, I know. I ha <laughs> gotcha. Cookie crumbles. Um, yeah, so that's the, the top ten so far, and again, good stuff for Jack, like making his return to the PR. And like we said, we he's I'm sure he'd like to be higher. Uh, he does have that that competitor spirit in him, but like those few flashes where he showed that he can be really dominant, he was. And you know, such is the life of like you know that sort of like ten spot. You know, like you're when you're the consistency is going to be a big thing for in that spot. So if you continue to place well, you'll go up. And if not, the, you know, if not, then you know, such is the life. But before we get into numbers eleven through fifteen, this is probably I think the spots where like everyone's usually really interested because like. You know, usually you kind of have a good idea of who's going to be like, you know, one through 10 for the most part. But, and, and just as a bit of a teaser, uh, you're four out of these five faces are new. And so you guys are, are going to be in for a treat. Starting off with number. Oh, I thought for a second, I thought you were going to want to break and, and do something in between here. I thought you were trying to keep people in suspense, but I guess, I guess, yeah. we'll, I guess we'll keep going. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is actually, this is one people have been calling for for a while since, since the beginning. Yeah, of the it was, season. it was bound to happen. So Bush, ladies and gentlemen, uh, making his uh, debut on the New Jersey PR at number eleven, uh, with the will to win. Obviously, uh, it's Ram. Yeah, with probably the freshest picture of the bunch. Um, and Ram was kind of a player who came on late last season, uh, and then just sort of like 
kept the kept the foot on you know pedal to the metal so to speak he's uh incredibly consistent as far as like north uh, north jersey goes places pretty well at the monthlies uh not always top eight but you'll definitely see him at least top 13 almost every single time um i feel like yeah. he doesn't have bad losses but like um he does have like some good wins is, yeah is kind it of was, the story of him. was a little less consistent than you might imagine just because of all the the amount of times that he was like really good, like he he definitely had some parts where he did not uh, perform as well as you would expect him to, and that's coming for a lot. Just says like he's just a very new player, so um, yeah, yeah, like, it's, what it... it's a very like cool to see like a new player doing this well. Yeah, and obviously like the the things like when Ram did well, he did really well. Um, I'd say the thing that kind of held them back a bit is that everybody else above him just had, like, in my opinion, a slew, like a better consistent, like, spread of wins. Like, his wins are good. They're really, really good. And the placings are good. Um, but, you know, some, like you said, sometimes the inconsistencies would show and not everything would always, uh, you know, shake out the way that I'm sure he'd wanted to. But Ram making his debut here came very close, like, last season, like, closer than you might think. And... You know, obviously now the the pressure of being a PR player, uh, you know, comes and now going into number twelve, I think people are going to be a little bit surprised here. But Mateo, Mateo, previously known as Alfie, big pimpin' baby. <laughs> so he he's another one who had a lot of big sprinkles of like really big wins, like not always the most consistent. And you see like here, like even on like the, um, some of the weeklies he. On their, they didn't get top eight or whatever. Even but like, like even like ninth at a spectrum one hundred was a very very respectable. Which had like one hundred twenty entrants. Like yeah, and then uh, if you just look at the wins, it, it kind of makes sense. It, yeah, like you go. Like, sorry, I think he like uh, even uh, his win on Rivers and Mystery were both like at monthlies, I believe. Uh, his win was so, at spectrum one hundred, but like yeah, so it was like a super weekly. So it's it's still kind of for a lot. And he just had like big sprinkles or a lot of that. That's kind of like, kind of the thing. Like it's, if you weren't as consistent, like those big sprinkles always helped a lot too. Yeah, yeah like, like having those flashes in the pan definitely help. But also having like the placing and the resumes around it is what you look for. Because like you know anybody can have like one or two good tournaments, but you know Mateo had like four, or f- like five or six really good tournaments, and obviously like the wins speak for themselves. Like, and. You know, good on him. So big Pippin getting a, a second rep uh, outside of Leon uh, on the PR, and good for him, man. That's that. Yeah. That's super um, dope. He also did beat Leon, I think, and I, yeah. I was accounted for. Like just because, like the the the. Um, the um, yeah. It had like a, it was like a twenty twenty show. It doesn't mean it wasn't accounted for. Yeah. Like we have like all the data for that too. It's it, it everything that they they submit we have. So if if something isn't accounted for. It's because they didn't um, submit it, not because of any issue with us. Yeah, we're only showing like we're the we can best. only show like show. Yeah, we're only showing like what so much information. Like everything that they yeah. do submit is accounted. And sometimes for, things so. fall to the cast and the to the cracks, like when like the images are being made. But I can assure you, when the information is being processed, that we accounted for it. And when all will be transparent at the end, like we said, you guys, this is like all public information, like what everyone submits. So you guys are, can feel free to look at that like after the fact. Or I mean, we um, could talk about it. Well, there will be. Uh, we could link some things. I think we did that last time around. Um, we'll yeah, probably we did. talk about it by the time we end. But most of you will probably leave because you probably won't actually care, but you just complain later. <laughs> but, but, sorry, that was that was unnecessary. Okay. <laughs> that was that was rude. Really know. Anyways, we got number yeah, thirteen. Uh, a small drop uh, from uh, outside of top ten, but Maverick Hunter at thirteen. Uh, who was well, he was of... he was eleventh last time. Oh, he was eleven. For some reason, I think it was ten. Yes. I can math. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Maverick Hunter is kind of like the king of like the weeklies. <laughs> yes. Like, well, he'll just like show up and do really well. Uh, and then like the monthlies, like it's kind of like random whether or not he'll do well or not. It's like if he's playing well, he'll get the good stuff like seventh of the forge or ninth at you know. But like. When he goes to DNA, he, like, gets top three, like, every single time, if not winning the tournament. Yeah, and, like, sometimes the level of comp, like, these tournaments are stacked. So, like, it obviously speaks for, for Maverick, or, and it just comes down to the wins that everyone else got were just 
in, in just in caliber, just you know, better. Like, but like dominating the weeklies for sure. He's always getting top three to DNAs, like we were just saying. Well, even so. even the monthlies too. I mean, coming in like you know ninth place plus at things like Xenosaga, which I think was that the last one because that thing had like 150 entrants, and then like the yes. Forge getting seventh. The Forges are always pretty stacked. He does. He just he does good at the locals, you know. I mean, yeah. Bottom line. Yeah, and now that, and now that you look, you know, because he dominates ZNA so well, and now you know, Ram is, uh, you know, PR'd, and sometimes we get some other like, sprinkling of PR players. Like those wins are, you know, it's it's all gonna trickle down on itself. We're like, okay, he has the potential to go even higher now because there's, the level of competition is gonna be higher. So that's the beauty of these things. I love it. So now we're getting into the nitty gritty. Uh, I think people are yeah. going to be excited about the next one. I- I'm excited. About uh, the I'm next very, one. I'm very excited. Yeah, about this, the next this is one. this is a good one. This is like Coming this is like in. one of the ones you, you you just love to see. You know. Coming in from down under, uh, from the Grand Line. Haha, get it? One piece joke. Straw hat. Haha. <laughs> 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 I am so funny. Yeah. So South Jersey, <laughs> please. <laughs> you don't know how much to hurt my throat. Yeah. Oh, oh, please don't die. Oh yeah. So straw hat. Again, just look at the wins. That that's obviously king. Like the wins are very good, and uh, he went to a lot more of like the bigger events than I would have imagined. That's kind of the problem. Like when you you always kind of forget about like you know South Jersey, unfortunately, just because a lot of those guys don't always make the trips. But when they do, they you know they do really really well. You saw it with Vince last season. You know where when he did show up and performed well, it definitely mattered. Uh, and the same can definitely be said for Straw Hat. Obviously, like, the wins, nothing to scoff at. Wins on rivers, placing very well at the monthlies, and also policing his own region very well. Uh, always getting like you know first or second uh, to Vince at a lot of the South Jersey weeklies. So South Jersey once again, you know, continuing to uh, show that they are uh, in it to win it. Yeah, man, and probably one of the best uh, best in the state as far as it comes to like mindsets and stuff, man. I think Straw Hat might be the most positive player out there. So. Definitely keep an eye if you're having a uh, mindset issues because he's he's pretty good with it from what I've seen, anyways. Yeah, absolutely, super stoked for him. Like he he reached out early. He's like, hey, like I want to submit, but like I don't, like I don't. Can I like send this to you just so like everyone else has it? And like, you know, the the wins definitely speak for themselves. Like he did very very well at the things that he uh, showed up at. So and he, it's like that thing where it's like, you might not expect him just because he's a little more low key. Like, but that's like the beauty of the submission system where it's like, you don't have to be like on like the headlines to be on the PR. Like you just have to do well and submit your stuff and submit. He did actually everyone who was on was submitted. So thank God for that. Yeah. Thanks guys. Thank, <laughs> thank, we re- thank, we, we thank really Gons. appreciate it this time. Yeah. Thank God. All right. Number 15 guys, get your bets in. Might be no, a little I- bit of a surprise. Yeah, this was very, very closely contested. Like, 15 has never been, I think, like, this close. Especially I, I because the last season was more close, but uh, regardless. Yeah, um, yeah you, you you could talk. Uh, Roxas, uh, with that great Photoshop work. <laughs> it was so hard to find a picture of Roxas, man. I had to do right. that. <laughs> so if you just look at his stuff, it's just it's very, very clear. It's um, The thing is, is that he went to a, a little bit of stuff, but just because you went to a little bit of stuff it shouldn't um, penalize you for not being on the list. Because if you think about it, like, Naro went to, like, six things and he's number one. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it shouldn't penalize someone who also did what very well and only did well. There was not a single time that he – like messed up on his bracket runs. Yeah, like the so, nationals, he like the nationals, he or a little bit more hit or miss. But like even then, he still did like really, really well. Yeah, thirty third at shine is extremely respectable. That is a very tough bracket to go through. I mean, he got into the final bracket on winner's side, you know. So it, it was definitely like a hard fought battle. And then yeah. like he just has he just had the wins to keep on to move on against everybody else, you know. Yeah, there was a lot of contenders for that spot. And he just ends up edging it out just because he was, he was consistent and he just did well. Like he, like it was, it was a combination of just those two things. Like, all right, he went to stuff. He did good. Okay, did he ever do bad? Not really. Even if it does only a little bit of stuff, like that's not going to be enough to not keep him on it. So yeah. it's like it doesn't matter how many against you go you, events you go to. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, we. I was just gonna bring that up. We uh, we took away like the requirements you need to like be on the PR, just because like we have a lot of players that are like more like known nationally now. So like, not everybody's gonna have the time to dedicate to locals. 
as I hear myself yeah. again. Yeah. So like, well, th- th- this is the, yeah. I I also hear you twice too, but it's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Let's talk a little bit about the data and rules then, because because you're starting to talk about it now, and as you mentioned, there's there's a pretty big distinction between probably places one through six here as far as people go to locals and the people with locals. You kind of mentioned it, but I guess go ahead and uh, explain how you guys did it. All right, <laughs> do it. So basically, um, we just gather up all the submissions, and we don't we don't see about anybody. Like literally, every submission that is sent to us. We looked at it very, very thoroughly. We never like count anybody out, which is why people like Straw can make it on, you know, because like you just wouldn't expect that. You would expect someone like, like, and I'm not trying to be mean when I say this, like, because there's players like uh, Ace Attorney or Fruit or um, that that did very well, like, but you Perfect. know it did well, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna be on it, you know? Yeah. So, well, like, I just want to... Well, like, the big stuff, like, how well you did at the big stuff, and then the smaller stuff helped you out. So, when you did really good at the locals, like, that just kind of helps you. Like, what we really were looking for are the really big, big stuff. Like, the national stuff, like, that's where, like, the top of the top we're at, right? So, mm-hmm. we obviously prioritized that over anything else. And then, so, it's, like, nationals, monthlies, super weeklies, weeklies, so th- that's kind of like how we went through there through that. And then like when there was like disputes, it's like we checked the head to heads, we checked the placements, we checked like how consistent they were. Whose second yeah. best win was better than the other person's second best win? Yeah, so like let's say like they both beat Tweak, right? Like 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 Jude and um Wishes both beat Tweak. All right, and then but Jack will also be void, you know, who's top ten on the PGR, you know? So it's like it's kind of like that kind of thing. It's like, all right, so we had to look at every single little thing that they did. Like, it's not just their best win or not they're just their second best win. It's like also like, oh, how do they do versus the rest of the PR or or the rest of like like the top players that they often play against, you know? So there's many, many like different factors that go into it. Yeah, and also by raising the floor, uh, you know, with the weeklies, like it lets people like Straw Hat and, uh, you know, Mateo and Roxas like have a like a real like puncher's chance at like getting on the PR because like, you know, they're getting wins. They're, they're placing like in single digits and, you know, really well, if he's like 120 plus or like 80 something man tournaments, like that matters. So like by raise, we felt that by raising the floor and also like rewarding people for doing well, at like the super weeklies, uh, you know, I, I think that data made like a lot of sense. So. Oh, you also did something different this season where, uh, if you did not submit, you were not considered at all. Yes, you were not. So some people might be asking for players like Gans, who obviously always does well, but he didn't submit. So we just did not rank him. We didn't even think about where he was going to be. So, so there was also this question that came in through chat just now, uh, asking about Nakat, and similar to Gans, and and just a did not submit. I'm going to assume that Nakat didn't submit. And also, is there a rule for uh, basically coming to any of the NJ local stuff? with regards to getting onto an NJPR? Uh, the only requirement is that you um, reside Live in the state. If, yeah, if, you were, if you're a permanent resident of New Jersey, you are eligible for the PR. And in regards to Nakat, I don't exactly know what his, like, uh, status is or not. I don't know if he's, like, like if he moved back yet or not. I know he was in the process of moving back to New Jersey. But, like, you know, I was – none of us were made aware of the fact that he was here or not. And, you know, if he wants to be on next season, then, like – if he starts showing up to some stuff, so, yeah, come come hang out. I mean, it's it's all good, yeah. man. Or provide a pop bonus. That's what Nairo does, and it works. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It's good. No, oh, that's not even on. that's not even shade. Like he's interacting yeah, no, in some right. ends, like you yeah. know. But like, if you're yeah. just player X and you live in New Jersey and you just don't go to anything, how could you expect yeah. to be on a PR? I just didn't know if, if if the cat was like a resident yet, but like I feel like it would. I think it would have been too late anyway. So, but yeah, if you if you, like basically as long as you like. Are a permanent resident attend like a handful of tournaments, and like do well and submit, then like you're in contentions. Like so, said, like just... I, so while we're on the topic of the rules, I see someone raging about uh, Nairo over tweak, and it's a pretty justified reason why he's over tweak. So maybe we could go over that again real quick with with keeping the rules in mind. Yeah, it's it's like guy. Right, so you look at what Nairo did. Okay, so what's Nairo's best placement? He won main stage over MK Leo, right? Tweak's best place was second at Evo. Like that's some of the other like big S tier, right? Extremely impressive. But how many times 
did like tweak half to fight Leo and then he lost, you know. A lot more than Nairo did, you know. But and Nairo ended up even getting a set. So like that win on MK Leo and an S tier win, which Tweak does not have. Like Tweak's best is like a second at an S tier and a first at an A tier. So but it was incredibly close. Like if you look at the returns they both went to, like all right, so they both outplaced each other twice, you know. So there's four mm-hmm. tournaments that they both went to, and they both outplaced each other twice. So it was like it's like really, really hard to say, okay, um, what matters here more? And it's also like, all right, they face each other in bracket once this season, right? And now won that one time. So that's like already that's another thing that piles on top. Like I would say that tweak is like a little more consistent than narrow is. Not like incredibly more consistent. Nara is still a very consistent player. But it's also like, you have to consider that this because Tweak is high on the PGR, that was for the last PGR season, you know? And also keep so, it, keep in mind, just like, yeah, aside from just like the, the seasons, like the season lengths, like they come and go. Like this has been three months. And before this three months, I agree that like Tweak would have definitely been over Nairo because Tweak got off to a hot start. But Nairo has been surging and consistently better and better with time. And Tweak has sort of been kind of where he's at with kind of a target on his back, losing some things where people think, oh, well, he's the second best. But, you know, it's it's been three months. So it's like a lot of a lot of things change. Yeah. And things can also change like this coming season, because obviously we're going to have a lot more stuff on the home front which I'm sure, you know, both of them will be at attendance at at least one of these things. So oh, yeah. I, that's just more data for us to have. But again, like, what's if you just go back, this is the reason why we do So that way we can have these discussions with you guys now so you don't have to flood our, our Twitter mentions for the next two weeks, you know, because of it. Yeah, like, like, we, we, that, we want good rankings, you know? So that's yeah. why we put it all out there. It was very, very close. Like, that, that outside of four and five, that was a spot we talked about, like, at nauseum. So, like, that was, that, that, that was a... A very closely contested spot, but we we deemed that Nairo just had the slight edge. So, so um, how about uh, before we kind of go back over the the PR in its entirety and show this beautiful graphic we have? Uh, how about some honorable mentions? We kind of skipped over that. Sure. So <laughs> okay, so some people that we we talked about that were just like just below the cusp. I think the only the notable ones hungry already mentioned a couple of them like ace attorney and fruit were very very close and uh adam is convinced were a couple of ones that we mentioned yeah um, um the big... we also looked at corona uh s uh myself haven you know they were all just like things we had eyes on yeah and like guys like unfortunately like unknown chaos couldn't submit in time uh, unknown did not submit in time so like yeah we couldn't so look at you know yeah, like, if you don't submit we're just not going to consider you we're not going to ask like, like if, if if you're my friend i'm like yeah are you gonna submit i'll ask you but if you say no to me like i'm not gonna ask you again <laughs> yeah, that's yeah? Just, no means that's no thing. thank you <laughs> we learned the lesson here today <laughs> yeah but like the, the thing with like those people in general is that like like there's flashes of brilliance but like when you just look at the resume of everybody else it just like never really panned out like every like every like s beat like a, a top 20 ranked player in the world and like you know unfortunately the resume just didn't fill out uh like otherwise but like this this is super duper like tough like obviously everybody had like good performances fruit obviously had a couple of you know really good tournaments and so did ace attorney and adamisk and vince like we all mentioned so those yeah. i think so someone asked about stretch stretch actually lives in new york yeah you know he goes stretch him a lot and does very well there he is a new york player he's from Staten island so he was yes. not i'm surprised <laughs> no one asked about tim uh who's tim the, the, south, the south the south jersey underground <laughs> 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 i'm sorry <laughs> The weasel. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm just, you don't know I'm just making from, a bad joke. You didn't, it's okay. you didn't even know if I'm talking about the, the mascot or Tim now. You, you know Tim. <laughs> that was, oh, God. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> I guess I guess we could show this graphic now because it, it is it came out yeah. pretty good, uh, especially if you enjoy manga because... Yeah, yeah. paying homage to uh, to the Melee uh, graphic years ago, uh, we have decided to do it in real time, once again done by Super Glenn Tendies, and also in assistance by Danny Danny Danny. Uh, so, again, it's Glenn constantly, like, make, think, taking the box, p- taking himself out of it, and thinking outside of it. And uh, this image is, and my, it's very, very nice. It's, it's clean to look at. Obviously, you know, if you've never read manga, I'm sorry, uh, but that's on you. So, you know. Yeah, I think the 
little, and the end of it, the, the lower third of it, is a little stretched out. You can't see. Yeah, it. I just realized it's not a full sixteen by nine image, but I, but I'm only I'm only slightly triggered. It's okay. <laughs> Otherwise, it looks great. Yeah, man. So that's once again, this image will be posted on Twitter probably within like the next like I don't know like thirty or so minutes. Uh, but yeah, that was this is your season three, everybody. Again, this is uh a lot closer in certain places than you might think and a lot of like really good feel good stories obviously like we this is the first season we ran with the modified rules of like you know we raised the ceiling on weeklies uh monthlies were penalized if they didn't reach a certain like threshold of entrance uh so like you know we 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 were listening we heard you guys and we listened and we hope everybody is at least like relatively satisfied obviously nothing is perfect but like you know we zan you were number five man you weren't paying attention yeah dude he was number five and number 13. Like, it's mm-hmm. crazy. Like, he's just like Cookie Slayer was number 13. Zan, number five. So, definitely, <laughs> definitely uh, something to, to keep in mind there. But, yeah, like, again, like, we, we know we're not perfect. And, like, if anybody has any, like, questions in, like, depth, like, obviously, you can, like, my DMs are open on Twitter. So, like, you can feel free to contact me and, like, we'll just, or you can just rewatch the VOD and we'll explain everything. It, you know, where we explain everything in depth again the big reason we like make you guys sit through this hour-long presentation is just so that we don't have to like you know fight off the angry mob with pitchforks but we'll, <laughs> we'll have to anyway <laughs> yeah we're, we're gonna yeah we're gonna have to anyway yeah we'll, we'll, we'll explain our x factor next year message me i'll fucking debate you right now <laughs> whoa take it easy man uh yeah so that is gonna be it and so obviously season uh, we apologize for the also the delay on this like we try to get these things done uh kind of in like the relay race style where we can just kind of hand off into the next season but uh you know we're all working people i have a job uh chris has a job and hungry doesn't so he doesn't matter uh that's, cool, <laughs> oh, that's right yeah, yeah okay that's a job uh but yeah so like we were all incredibly busy so we're a little we're about a week uh plus into the season right now so we appreciate you guys being patient with us as always as we are able to get the quick turnaround on this and uh so season four is going to be from now to the end of the year uh i'd say i don't think usually we say the end to kind of talk about like changes we're going to make uh i don't think we're going to make any for the most part i know james expressed about maybe going to quarterly next year uh or not uh every uh well, we are doing every, quarterly now well, i meant like every, like every four, four months every four months that, that, that just sounds like someone four. who doesn't want to work on the he, pr he every three months. Four and said quarter he's a fucking dumb i'm not chasing my format man not doing it no way yeah so we're we're good man we've we've said all of this so three months from now you know y'all got some some stuff to look forward to obviously uh open source smash next uh you know next weekend if you want to go to that uh there's obviously tri-state showdown happening and there's uh, always a plethora of you know things in the winter for people to go to so if that's something that again just you know it's, it's going to be real cozy here the, the next like three months yeah, so. for, for all of you aspiring uh rankees i will recommend that there is an arcadian at the end of the month at the forge that is not limited to new jersey so you could find yourself a nice little win and pr uh a resume builder there if, 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 if you're feeling confident yeah, like it's actually really funny. Uh, the last two winners of like Platinum Starcadians, or just Arcadians yeah, in wow. New Jersey, have all been on the, have all made it on the PR. Yo, that's that following season. That's amazing. So you guys even should definitely be coming to, like, to the Arcadians. It yeah, even going back to like Leon, like at the end of Smash Four. Oh so, my like, god, yes, we have a history of this now. That's so good. The actually, Lord's it team. actually goes even further than that. Uh, unknown won an Arcadian before he got ranked too. Dude, like, you guys you know, gotta start forward. hitting Arcadians. Don't sleep on them. Just because you won't get a PGR win doesn't mean you won't get solid wins. <laughs> so, think about so it. So that means I'm. So that means I'm gonna be in the next PR because I'm gonna win the Arcadian. Yeah, I think I'm gonna answer. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's gonna be. I guess that's it. Unless anybody else has something to add. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a lot of cool stuff, like game design thoughts and stuff like that. Yeah, please check out Hungry's YouTube. It's it's real good. Yeah, I'm gonna look uh, it again. Jesus Christ. Uh, yes, and obviously James and Biddy cannot be here this time. But, you know, again, they uh, Biddy more so than James worked in this a lot more closely. Obviously, James was in and out uh, dealing with his, his own personal stuff and RJ as well. So, you know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to any of the five of us. Uh, Bruh, don't message Chris, though. You pick Diddy into my ZSS. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's the cheese, man. That's like a 7-3 matchup. I'm just saying. Whatever. Yeah, so you know what? I see people ask for the graphic. We'll put the graphic on one more time. Just it'll so also everyone... be on Twitter. So yeah, it's going to be on Twitter. Uh, hopefully with the link to this. Um, 
here. Yeah, I will. I'll recording. take care of all like the the housework side of that after we're we're done here. So it should all be up, like within the next hour, everything will be up. So again, we appreciate you guys being patient with us. Uh, so this is it for our special edition breaking news segment of Gloves Off. Uh, the VOD will be on YouTube. Uh, tonight well, it'll be, it'll be on tonight. Probably yeah, it'll be the on next you- like hour and a half. I'm yeah, once our once RJ gives us the other, I think RJ needs to like update the form with the submissions and everything, just so like everything looks a little cleaner. Um, but like we'll have like the the rule set posted in there too, just so like people know about eligibility and stuff. So, you know, again, so yeah, season four, we are we are here. We're nearing the end of the year, uh, nearing birthday one for Ultimate. So, you know, I hope you guys are are excited to show up because it's good. It's like we said, it's about to get real cozy here the next few months with all the the new talent uh moving in. Yeah, we got some people moving here, but that is going to do it for us. If you guys enjoyed this, please go ahead and share it. Give it a thumbs up. All those good things. We do do a regular podcast here as the Gloves Off podcast. It's it's pretty cool. We talk about things like this pretty upfront and, uh, you know, in layman's terms. So don't miss out on that. We have a whole collection and we'll be getting more hopefully on Spotify soon. Um, other than that, we'll see you um you know if you're watching this right now we'll see you tomorrow at platinum star and if you're listening to the recording we'll see you at i guess any other tournament we host but thanks for watching and we will see you next time bye guys